What up guys, Johnny here from Ignite. Thanks for tuning in again. Today I'm gonna to be doing another video on the Tempest and Hagseed. That is the textual conversation that is part of module A for your HSE English Advanced course. And I wanna talk about one particular concept in here that is so pivotal to your understanding of this study of these two texts that I have to make a separate video on it. People are gonna get stumped on it. People are going to forget to talk about it. You must have this term in there, and that is meta-textuality. Why is this so important? Let's see what Margaret Atwood, the novelist who actually produced Hagseed, had to say about it herself. Above all, The Tempest is a play about a producer, director, or playwright, like Shakespeare, putting on a play. Who's the producer, director, playwright? Prospero, hopefully you understand. Namely, the action that takes place on the island, complete with special effects. What are some of those special effects? It's like Ariel is the special effects guy. That's how they call it in Hagseed. So Ariel, the magic spirit that accompanies Prospero on the island, is like the special effects person. It's highly metaphorical in that sense. That contains another play. So we've got a producer putting on a play that contains another play within it. So if you read The Tempest, we know that that's a play because that's the form of the text. That's how Shakespeare wrote. He wrote in the form of a play. And then within that play, there's actually a performance within it, which is Prospero basically directing things on this island. And then when within that play, he actually stages a play in there by putting the mask on of the goddesses. And maybe you remember that scene. It is around the time where we're looking at the betrothal, or the engagement between Miranda and Ferdinand. So, of all Shakespeare's plays, this one is most obviously about plays directing and acting. How interesting is that? Because it is a play itself. So we have a play about plays, because it is a play that has a play going on within it, that has another play going on within it then. A play within a play within a play. You see this self-conscious nature of the text, the fact that when Shakespeare wrote this play, he's actually making his audience aware that they are watching a play because there's a play going on within the play. That's metatextuality. In this case, it's meta-theatricality. Meta is the thing that is making us aware of the form itself. So by putting a play on within the play, we become aware that we're watching a play. That's the meta aspect. And because it's a play, because we're talking about theatre, it's called meta-theatricality or meta-theatre. So that's what we're talking about there. Shakespeare really plays on that concept in this play, The Tempest. And because Atwood has constructed a tribute text, but also an innovation in Hagseed, she is inevitably going to play upon this idea that Shakespeare was putting on a play within a play. So let's see how this unfolds in a diagram. So we have The Tempest. The Tempest itself is a play, and there's a performance going on within it. What's that performance? Remember, Prospero is basically like a director on the island. He's the controller of everything. He dictates all of his surrounds, and he even has Ariel, the special effects person, who's helping him out. But that's all highly metaphorical. It's not actually ever said that Prospero is a producer or a director. It's actually something that only becomes more obvious when we look at it from the perspective of Hagseed. And this is the power of intertextuality, that we are getting this new insight that Hagseed actually provides. So by looking at Hagseed, we're able to appreciate, because in Hagseed, Prospero, or Felix, as he's now called, is actually a director. He's a literal director. That makes us revisit The Tempest and say, perhaps Prospero was a director. And indeed, that's what Atwood was intending, because that's what she understood from the play. So see how our understanding is already being reshaped of what Shakespeare was doing with The Tempest? That is intertextuality. That is a byproduct of the textual conversation taking place. So, a little bit of a tangent there on my point that I was making, but we have a play within a play. How are we going to replicate that? Well, we're going to have a novel and then a play within that. Because within the novel, what's Felix, who is the modern day Prospero, trying to do the whole time? Put on a performance of no other than The Tempest. We literally have The Tempest be the play inside this novel. And we have a play within a novel, and that is meta-textuality. That is Atwood's way 
of replicating what Shakespeare did when he made his audience aware that they actually were watching a play. Atwood is making us aware that she's actually adapting the play through the novel. How is she making us aware of it? By staging the play within the novel. Hopefully you can see these layers, layers of form that are embedded here. That is the meta component. So for the play, we call it meta theatricality. And for the novel, which has a play within it, we'll call that meta fiction or meta textuality is perhaps an even more appropriate term there. So here we go. We have the play within the play and we have this broader play, which is The Tempest, go into the novel because Felix is actually directing The Tempest within the novel. Now, if you're familiar with the text, this will make a whole lot more sense to you, but I hope you understand this layer argument that I'm saying. It's so pivotal to this study that you have to make mention of it in an essay. It's inexcusable not to. So please make sure if you didn't quite catch everything I said, replay this, rewind it, make sure you digest it. There's an even more exact depiction because we not only have the play, which is The Tempest, but remember we said there's a play going on within the play. And that play within the play is happening within the novel. A play within a play within a novel. It gets very complex indeed, but it's that layer argument that Atwood is really playing upon. She's really having fun with that idea and making us aware of the meta-theatricality that was going on in Shakespeare's play. That's her tribute to him. She's replicating what he did, but in a unique fashion because she's using the novel form. Very clever by Atwood indeed, and I hope you appreciate the genius of that, that innovation. That's a very clever way that Atwood has played upon the text, but she's also made it her own in the process. All right, guys, I hope that clarifies the idea of metatextuality, meta theater, meta moments. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below because I'm happy to clarify any of these concepts. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and we will see you shortly for another video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching once again. If you are enjoying our content and we hope you are, please do like and subscribe to our channel. And of course, share with your friends. That's right guys, thanks for watching. But please do make sure you check out our very special resources. They're quite unique. We've made a whole bunch of state rank practical guides for all your English texts out there. So check out the link now at ignitehsc.com.au. Let us know what you think. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.